What's up YouTube? It's Perry with Premier Guitar here in Nashville, Tennessee at the Ascendant Amphitheater on our gorgeous day. Woo. Talking to the dudes in all time low. Yeah. We got Jack and Mac who are going to talk to us about guitars and effects and all this fun stuff. Yeah dude, I actually, uh, I'm a big fan of, of the show and I didn't, the first time I found out about it actually I was in Canada visiting my cousin Marius and uh, he's a huge fan of Green Day and he was like, dude why don't you guys have a rig rundown? And I was like, uh, I'm not sure what that is. And he showed it, showed me the Green Day one, and I was like, dude, this is incredible. And I, I started watching all of them and became a big fan. But basically, yeah, my cousin was like, I don't believe you're in a band and you're not a real guitar player unless you have a rig rundown. So this goes out to Marius. Marius? I made it! I made it! <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. They're a real band! Yes. <laughs> well, speaking of real bands and real gear, let's get into these purple monsters yeah, right let's here. Let's do it. All right, cool. My, my customs are uh, Eclipses, they're ESP Eclipses. This is a. Uh, matte purple yeah very and cool. uh it's got jack skellington inlays custom inlays and some stars it's pretty cool seymour i threw seymour duncan's in there the ES, esp puts in like some pretty gnarly pickups they're like i don't know our music's not that heavy so right they have some pretty hot <laughs> yeah. Stuff yeah, yeah, yeah so uh it's pretty awesome man and i for the most part get all my guitars in matte because i just like the way it feels and especially once you start sweating it's a little grippier yeah it's not as sure. slippery as a um, while we're on it, and I'm yeah. looking at it right now, what gauge strings are you playing? Because you got some manly, manly Ooh. strings on here. 54s. The what? 54s. 54s, yeah. Dude, and uh, it stays in tune really well. And it's, I got these, uh, what are these, Spurzels? Yeah, Spurzel locking, locking, locking tuners. tuners. Awesome. Um, and in case you guys, just so you guys yeah. notice, you've bypassed everything but yeah. what, just this pickup? Yeah, dude, yeah. I, uh, we put like covers over the other uh, the the, holes. The switchers. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I, I always hated that switch as well because I accidentally hit it. I can't, yeah. yeah. Honestly, like, I just, it's so frustrating. I'm like, I was like, just get rid of it, dude. Sure. Just get rid of it. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's Richard to you, huh? Yeah, it's Richard to you. Cool. Um, it's cool, man. It's obviously black and purple everything because my Ravens, my Baltimore Ravens, that's where we're from. Home team support. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Plus, it's the, kind of the reverse color wise scheme, but everything else is basically the same. same. Same pickups and everything. Yeah. Or pickup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess that one's bypass. Cool. Yeah. It's cool. This is a. Uh, it's also an eclipse, but this one uh, has a custom little paint job here. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> is that a, like a sticker? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah. and then they paint it over. It's pretty yeah. cool. So it won't come off there. Yeah. Very, very also, cool. Spurzels on here. Is that like an EC1000 that's just been kind of modded or? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. It's great. Pretty awesome. These things have, have seen some uh, some, some road life, dude. Got a little love on them. This one actually, this one, this guitar, dude. It took him like a year to build it, and I got it sent to me. I was so excited. I throw my guitars at the end of the show. I chuck them to Mac, like 50 feet in the air, and he catches them. And this one, I threw a bad throw, and it just the neck actually snapped it right off. Snapped huh? it right off. First show I played it. it took me a year to get it, and first show it's done. But uh, they repaired it, and luckily I've never had an issue. I've yeah, never, no I've never no two. Yeah, yeah. Max never dropped it. Never dropped so, <laughs> hey, before we go any further, yeah. out of curiosity, is that a Feldman trick? Did you learn the throwing guitar stuff from him? Because uh, I noticed that a lot of the bands that he produces do that. Dude, you know what? I think I did learn it from the Story of the Year guys. When I was okay. a kid, you know, I used to go see Story sure. of the Year and the Used and all those bands. And uh, I think that might have been the first band I saw do it. And they would like do like crazy like back flips and shit. And yeah. just like chuck their guitars literally just like it's nothing. Just like boop. And I was like, I want to do that. <laughs> yeah, that is too cool, man. Yeah. What's it like working with Feldman? I got to know, because I've, I've been a huge fan. Feldman is probably the most energetic person I've ever met in my entire life. Dude is always wired, always willing to work and like go do what it takes to make a fucking energetic record. It's awesome. And um, he just, he's, he's got so many ideas and he brings like a cool energy to albums. Like I think it's, for me, it's like the drums, the way he does drums and vocals. It's like. I was going to say drum. For me, the way he yeah. records, well, also the guitar tones are just so yeah, Gnarly. the tones are cool. He, he gets good stuff, man. Yeah, for sure. He does get Have you, Did you learn anything working with him? Like, did it change your playing at all? Um, not really. Um, one thing that he did, one thing we did do in the studio that I've never done before is use Evertune. Uh, have you, you know what Evertune is? I'm not familiar with that. It's, uh, I don't know how it works, but it's basically, it's set up through 
the bridge and they, it's just a way that the strings, I don't know how it works, but they're offset with springs. They never go out of tune. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. out of tune. I've seen that. Yeah, um, yeah like I'm a, not sure the, the science behind it or the mechanics, but. They mount something into the back of it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah you're right, in the back yeah. of it. And dude, we recorded rhythm guitars, did not tune once the entire album. Yeah, like, that's crazy. It saves so much time, because in the studio, you know, when you're tuning, it's like, dude, it's a, yeah. it's a time killer. And if you're not bending notes and stuff like that, and, and even if you, Yeah, even if you do bend, um, it, it will like hold and it will, yeah, yeah it's pretty awesome. Very cool. Um, this guy is uh, also custom equipped. Yeah, well, you, I guess we haven't talked about this. Little yeah. uh, gaff tape yeah. uh, stripe there, very cool. Yeah, I love, uh, I got that from Tom DeLong. He, is, uh, he, he does, does that, that like, custom paint job. But like, <laughs> I didn't, I was like, eh, what is, what is Gavit? It'll look yeah. the same. Yeah, Very pretty cool, cool. man. Uh, I'm probably gonna get some shit for this, but this is the first guitar I ever wanted. The Tom DeLong Strat. Look at that. It's the there first it guitar I ever wanted. One knob in the truth, baby. Pray for Zane. <laughs> uh, first guitar I ever wanted and uh, as a kid. And you know, they only made a limited edition. I couldn't get one when I was a kid. They're pretty expensive and I was, you know, I was like 11, year old, 11 years old, so 500 bucks that age is pretty fucking nuts. So, uh, yeah, so once I got a little older, I bought this actually from Ian from Defan Glory. <laughs> awesome. He's like, dude, I'm selling a Tom DeLong Strat, brand, like, min condition. I was like, I want it. And I just yeah. play our last song, Dear Maria, with this. And it's a light guitar, so I just chuck it to him and hopefully don't bust it. Pretty cool. cool. The, these two, uh, yeah, these are our, our Ox players' guitars. They're actually pretty cool. Yeah, let's take a look. He, yeah. Now, he, your auxiliary player actually dude, he built, built this, this right? Yeah, it's a, yeah the, the uh, company's called Venture. And uh, him and his partner built this guitar, and it's just beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous, and the it's sparkle so, finish is so cool. So Actually, can, can you turn it around? I'd love for everybody to see the, yeah. uh, the oh, neck. Yeah. It's just so cool. Dude. And then a little tape on there to stop belt rash. Yeah. yeah. Dude, this, thing's, this cool. thing's beautiful, though. I love this. Do you feel like it sounds like a lot different than the Eclipses? I mean, it's obviously different pickups, it's, it's configuration, but yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's thinner. It's a little twangier, almost like a telly. Way cool. Yeah. Right on. And so. Yeah. The whole band on this tour is doing campers, mm -hmm. right? And this oh, is yeah. the rack right here, right? Dude, just simple, consistent. You know, we tour 300 days out of the year, so one thing you and we fl we fly to a lot of shows, you know, across the world. So one thing I love about the campers is just so consistent, same sound every day. Nothing changes, nothing affects it. Right. And uh, I've gotten all my favorite tones from all my favorite albums of it. You know, like uh, Hoppus, Mark Hoppus sent me a couple of the tones I use on the Blink albums and. You know, I just load it on, it's the same exact tone, like nothing changes. All right, so Matt, can you maybe walk us through some of the tones that you guys have loaded in? Yeah, so with Jack on his clean tone, we use AC30. It's marked the, uh, on the profile is mic'd up with a R121 ribbon mic. Yeah. And then uh, on his hat, we're using the Buddha, the Superdrive, 30 watt, um, just with the gain rolled down a little bit. And then for this, this dirty, it's just the same thing, but a little bit more gain on it. Um, we always keep the effects, so if we're ever using an effect on a channel, it's always the one, the button directly up from that. So that if you ever have to go from half to like a dirty with a delay, you literally just, you hit them two at the same time, and that way there's no dancing over something so small. So uh, Mac, Mac runs my pedals. Yeah, actually, so he does your stage. switching. Yeah, I'm like, I'm running around the stage, uh, I'm up on the ramps. Uh, so, so that I'm, frees you up to like run around and race out? It's cool yeah. because so like, cool. it's something I don't have to think about because, you know, I'm, I, I love like interacting with the crowd and going in the crowd and, yeah, I don't want to be thinking about switches in the song, so it really helps that he knows all our songs in and out, mm -hmm. switches everything perfectly, never messes up, so it's pretty awesome. Pretty yeah. clean, man, and it looks yeah. so clean, it's, it's, it's yeah. lovely. And yeah, I got, I got a Kemper fly rig as well. This is, so literally when we fly to do shows, like this is, this is all I need. It's, got it's my, a direct backup, obviously, of your... Yeah, it's a direct backup actually. of the file. If we change anything here, we just take a USB stick, bam, two seconds later, it's updated. Uh, and it's got my wireless in here, my wireless receiver in here, so... Cool. Yeah, we fly with that thing. That's great. So, do you actually play these picks, or are these like something that you throw to the audience? Oh no, these yeah, these are the picks I play with. They're uh, I love that they have Jack yeah, they're, Skellington. They're done. They're done. Sure lops. I think they're the uh, the equivalent of the uh, the Tortex or orange yeah. ones. Like what is that? Seventy. Uh, I think it's yellow, maybe seventy-three. Oh, these are the yellow, yellow. So. Okay, yeah. Oh, sure. They're matte black now, and they, yeah, they got <laughs> they got a little Jack Skellington <laughs> on it. I dig it. Very yeah. cool. Well, man, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to talk to us today. Yeah, dude. Um, have a great me. show. Thank you. And uh, we'll Cheers. talk to the rest of the guys in the band. Hell yeah. All right, cool. All right, guys, we're now over here in bass and other guitar world with Kyle Arndt. Um, unfortunately, some of the guys in the band must have ate something weird last night and they're not feeling too good, but Kyle was kind enough to walk us through all this stuff. Um, so I guess we'll just get started. Cool. I'm going to walk down the line. Yeah. Um, 
We're just using right now, we're using uh, just Fender Tele Deluxes for a guitar, for Alex's guitar, and then uh, our bassist Zach uses, um, sorry, Fender Precision Basses. P basses? Yep. Cool. Is it cool if we take oh, a look at it? Yeah, for yeah. sure. This so, one, he just got built. It's all black, black on black, black everything. So. Love it. That's so cool looking. Are yeah. these um, just stock or is this? Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure exactly what he ordered, but I'm assuming it's just, you know, stock P bass mm -hmm. stuff. And sure. This one sounds pretty much just the like exactly well. the same yeah. is it all the same color scheme as well uh the other one is actually a two-tone thing he did he had done take little a look at this red and black so a little red and black oh cool so we got that going on this is very cool and then he is, uses those in set different tunings and then and so are they the all pretty identical as far as like can we take a look at this, this yeah one as well? sure this is just the backup and it's just you know same white, old, yeah. like during style Bass. Cool. Yep. How many different tunings are you guys running? Uh, for bass, we do two different tunings, and then he can drop it with the with the hip shot the on hip the back. Shot. There. Oh, cool! Yeah, let's show that. That's real cool. So nice. it just whatever is easy for her, easy for him to play. However, he wants it. Cool. He just drops it. Let's take a look at some of these deluxes if it's cool. Yeah, sure. So this is it's just a standard deluxe we got from mm -hmm. Fender right now. He was using shiftlets for a while. And I think we're getting two more today, even. Oh wow! So we're we'll cool. probably probably get those going so awesome so yep. we got a black one and a got a brown one and they're all pretty much the same as well yeah these are all, all three cool. of those are the same yeah. killer and then uh for acoustics this we just got from fender it's brand new i don't think it's even came out yet um we're having issues with the other one I th it could have been a pickup issue or something like that feeding where back no it wasn't feeding back it's just the way he's his style of playing it just wasn't great for it so this one's got a fishman in it nice sounds yeah. way better it's like really light but it does sound it does sound much better yeah. than the other one does and, and, um, the I other one is now just our backup so i love the headstock it looks a little tiny and different it's got a yeah it looks like they're starting to do something different something with them different, yeah just trying to step up their acoustic game for sure yeah. it actually sounds very good so yeah. we, we've been impressed with it so far so for bass gear, you guys are just doing the Avalon? Yep, we're running the Avalon for our clean channel, and then we're using a, what is it, our dark glass V7K for our dirty channel. Mm, gotcha. Yeah. Um, and then we're running Kempers as well over here, right? Kempers as well, and my, Alex is very easy. He uses one channel, and he rolls the volume knob down when he wants clean. it clean. Yep. And then I just, you know, pretty standard, I run a boost pedal for him, verb, Octave and you're making the changes as well over yeah, here. Yeah, and just I like just, Mac. just press them. And it's you know what amp changes a show. It's what amp is he modeling? Do you know? Yeah, it's just the it's just a Buddha 30 watt. Oh, so, as well. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Which is we found to be the best tone on rig managers. So. Really? Yeah, well, I, we've tried a lot of them, and it's, we always end up going back. Click to through them, yeah. A, B, and stuff. Yeah. Well, man, that's a pretty streamlined rig. You guys kind of got it dialed in. Huh? Yeah, it's great, and then like. Our production manager set up a lot of it, and he did the patch panel on the back. Everything's super easy, so it's real great. Man. Yeah. So yeah, I guess this just showed so up. So literally, <laughs> as we're sitting here shooting this interview, this beauty showed up. So we'll definitely be using this today. We'll this will be the one, huh? Yeah, I'll dig through it, and he'll probably use it. He likes to use one guitar and just roll with it, so he'll probably do it probably over half the show today, I would imagine. So. Gotcha. Very cool. cool. Yeah, look at gold. Yeah, just showed up. Now. Yeah. Outside of, I noticed the little pedal board um, that your bass player might be going into, and yeah, there's not much on it, but. He's running an Aguilar, just like a distortion pedal. What is, I don't, I'm not even sure what exactly it is. Once upon a time, I knew. Yeah, he's just running an Aguilar distortion pedal. He uses it for a couple choruses. Just to get a little beef. Yeah, yeah. get a little yeah, beef cool. and I don't know, end up a couple songs and stuff yeah. like that, so. Um, and I might be blocking this right now, but you guys are running, um, Ernie Ball everything? Yeah, Ernie Ball strings for everything. Yeah. They've been very good to us, send us anything we want. Always very responsive, so. Got the power slinky bass strings, yeah. the beefy slinky. Yep. And you're doing the Everlast on the acoustics, huh? Yeah. How do you feel, are these coated? Yeah, they are, okay. Yeah. Um, do you guys notice that you have to change less? Or do you change them anyway? I just change them every day. Yeah, anyway, you just do but it, yeah. You're supposed to be able to change them less. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, the yeah. idea behind them. <laughs> cool. Well, I guess that pretty much covers it, man. Cool. Really, really appreciate yeah, you taking you. the time to walk us through everything. Thank you guys for watching this, and we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.